Hi, this is Michael with Trade Edge Coding, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the trend channel indicator for Thinkorswim. This indicator automatically detects trend channels and plots them on the chart. And it also shows signals when price breaks out of the channels, like right here. So you can use this indicator to trade these kinds of breakouts from the channel, or you could also trade bounces off the trend lines of the channels. So when importing this into Thinkorswim, it will open up a shared chart, and there will be four studies on the chart. Two of the studies say scan, so you can remove these ones from the chart. They don't have any output. And so now we just have one indicator for the channel up and another for the channel down. So then if we go into the settings, we can take a look at how these are calculated. We'll start off with the left length and the right length. So these two inputs are used to calculate pivots. And if I go down here and change show pivots to yes, you can see what I'm talking about. These little arrows here are pivots. So the left length and the right length control the number of bars to the left and to the right of these pivots. So then if you increase these numbers, it will find fewer pivots, and if you decrease these numbers, it will find more pivots. The indicator works by connecting high pivots and low pivots that have similar slopes. So then the slope percent tolerance input here changes how similar the slopes have to be. So as long as the difference between this slope here, between the high pivots, and this slope here between the low pivots is less than 30%, it will draw the channels. So then higher numbers here will find more channels, and lower numbers here will find fewer channels. By default, you can see that the channel is hidden here after price breaks out of the channel. But if you change hide after breakout here to no, it will extend the channels to the right even after a breakout. Next is the shade channel. So turning this off, you can see that the shading goes away and it's just the black background here. And then if we turn this back on, you can see that the channel is now shaded again. And you can change what color it uses down here in the global section. So for example, I could change this to yellow, like this. So that's how to use the indicator on the chart. There's also a scanner that's included that will search for stocks that are either at the border of a channel or stocks that have already broken out of the channel. And I'll show you how to choose which of those to search for in a minute. But the basic setup of the scan is that right here, you can change the time frame. Up here, you can change the watch list that it searches in. So by default, it searches the S&P 500, but you can change it to pretty much anything you want. If you click this pencil symbol here next to the time frame, it will bring up this window where you can edit the conditions. So you can see there's one condition for the channel up and another condition for the channel down. And then if we click edit again, you can edit the inputs here the same way as you can with the indicator on the chart. You can change what condition you want to scan for here under the plot section. Scan condition searches for stocks that are at the border of a channel but haven't broken out yet, whereas breakout searches for stocks that have already broken out of the channel. You can change the offset right here. Zero means that it looks at the current bar. One means that it looks at the previous bar. Two would mean that it looks two bars back, etc. You can also change how many bars the scan looks at over here. One means that it looks at one bar, but then you can increase this to see results from further back. So for example, if you wanted to look for breakouts at any time within the past week, you could change this to five and it would show all the results within any of the past five candles. And once you finish editing the scan settings for the upward channel, 
You might want to also do the same changes for the downward channel since these are two separate conditions. And once the scan is set up the way you want it, you can save it up here. And you can even save multiple versions of the scan. So you can see here I have two versions. One version is with the default settings that looks for stocks at the borders of the channels. And I have another version saved that looks for breakouts. And a useful feature in Thinkorswim is that you can load scans into watch lists. So if I open up this watch list and load the scanner like this. So once this loads, we'll be able to see the scan results in real time and we won't have to keep refreshing it because it will update automatically with the real time scan results. And another thing we can do is put the watch list side by side with the chart and then we can link them the same color, so I'll link each of these red. And so now this is a good way to click through all the scan results to see them on the chart really quickly. So clicking on the first one here, you can see that it's breaking out of a downward channel here. And then if I click on the next one in the scan results, this one is also breaking out of a downward channel. So that's the basics of the trend channel indicator and scanner for Thinkorswim, which is available at tradeedgecoding.com. If you have any questions about this, please let us know, and thanks for watching.